middle of the night assault on a California power station has one former regulator claiming it's a terrorist attack. Welcome to your Wednesday lunch break. I'm Sarah Murray. The April 16th attack is basically unknown to most Americans, but it's raising new concerns about the vulnerability of the U.S. power grid. Joining me with the latest is the WSJ reporter who uncovered this story, Rebecca Smith. Hi, Rebecca. Hello. So give me an idea of what happened at this power station. What happened was really unprecedented. In the dead of night, a small team of gunmen attacked a U.S. power uh, substation near San Jose. So it's a substation that feeds power to Silicon Valley. Um, they we had 19 minutes in which to shoot up key pieces of equipment. They completely knocked out the substation. And the fear now is that if they were part of a larger group, it would be possible to hit multiple substations and theoretically bring down the U.S. grid. That is really incredible. Do they have any idea who is responsible for this? Well, the FBI isn't talking for obvious reasons. They still haven't made any arrests. So we don't really know if they have a theory. Um, people who were privy to the investigation in earlier periods say that they really didn't seem to have any good leads. So we hope that's not the case. We hope they'll catch the people. Now, one of the people who's raising alarms about this is John Wellinghoff. He was the chairman of the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission at the time. Why is he speaking out now? You know, I think that Mr. Wellinghoff, after the attack, he was extremely alarmed, and he went to a variety of federal agencies, Department of Defense, Homeland Security, the FBI, Congress, the White House, everywhere he could go, warning that this was a very serious attack, that this was an unprecedented attack, and that it required swift action. And he felt like he didn't get traction with it anywhere. One of the problems is there really isn't any agency that is responsible for the security of the U.S. grid. So as he put it, no one feels it's their job to do this. It seems really incredible that an attack like this could happen on a really important power station and we would never hear about it. I mean, why didn't we know this was happening? If you go back and look at the, at the reports that came out at the time, there were a couple TV stations went down because following the attack, there was a call for energy conservation in Silicon Valley. So there was a little bit of public awareness that something had happened to this substation. But the utility, federal officials, and investigators all tried to keep the specifics out of the public attention. They didn't want to attract copycat attacks, and I think they really didn't want to telegraph to our nation's enemies that we have this vulnerability. So what's the big worry now? I mean, that these people could just keep hitting other power stations? I think it's, there's a great worry now, as so much time has elapsed and no one has been arrested. We don't know whether this is a small group of nuts. We don't know whether this is, this is part of an organized group that is planning a larger Al-Qaeda-style attack. We just really don't know who it is. And in the absence of that knowledge, um, it feeds fears. All right, a lot of uncertainty there. Rebecca Smith, thanks for joining us. Thank you.